Uh, I feel that most the most important developments are the advancement in uh, sensor technology and camera resolution. With this new technology, they will require uh, a higher grade of optics. Uh, to complement this, uh, we have developed an industry first uh, fully automated robotic filter inspection and assembly system. Uh, by doing this, we are able to offer a filter that is free from optical distortion and near flawless optic uh, surface quality, uh, resulting in su superior image quality. It's um, really exciting to be part or be able to contribute to this uh, imaging advancement. The most important trend and the chances that we see currently is the upcoming industry 4.0. Mm -hmm. So um, this will enhance machine vision uh, within the factory floor enormously and give us uh, great opportunities for growth. I think this will lead to enormous uh, growth of quantities, um, but also a drop down in prices. Why embedded vision will become in the next in the next time in the next uh, uh, years an enormous growth factor. And uh, Silicon Software is uh, uh, very active in this, and uh, we are offering uh, software solutions with embedded visual applets. Uh, especially for embedded vision. Yeah, well, I see that uh, our industry, which currently can be described like uh, structured in a triangle, where we have the high-end applications, quite sophisticated camera systems, and the more low-end in the range of 300, 500, 800 euro, these two segments are kind of like spreading out. So from the triangle, we come to an hourglass shape. On the low-end, functionality increases, resolution increases, price decreases. And on the high end, we see that we find applications which are really going high end, high resolution, higher performance, multi spectrum one of those hypes we see, which are really needing these high sophisticated technologies. So both ends are growing, and that's the luck in our industry. In industrial quality inspection, we see growing production speeds and therefore faster cameras. And uh, also more details have to be recognized, and this means higher resolution, so um, more data rates, higher data rates, and this means 10 gig E cameras. And the image processing has to keep pace with this speed, of course. Uh, second trend we see at the Austrian Institute of Technology is a growing demand of our customers for 3D. And we do not uh, mean this good old laser triangulation, but the combination of 3D and color and texture and surface properties um, and there we think the answer is computational imaging. And the third trend is of course machine learning, the revival of neural networks, and it is astonishing how many problems can now be tackled which seem to be unsolvable previously. Well, there are two technologies actually I'd like to talk about. The embedded vision trend, where we're gonna see machine vision in all sorts of consumer products, uh, taking machine vision outside the factory and into products that we interact with uh, in our daily lives. That's going to be a trend that continues. The second one is the integration of machine vision and uh, machine learning. Because I think as machines understand their environment better by using vision, it's going to transform a number of industries. We're already seeing that in areas like warehousing, where vision is allowing um, robots to see products, pick them, um, and assist workers in the factory. But we're also now seeing it in areas like robotics that work in hotels. The machine vision systems are in those. So not only in the factory are we going to see vision uh, continuing to emerge, but also outside the factory. And as robots learn themselves how to do tasks without being programmed, this again, this integration of machine vision and machine learning, I think this is going to have a major impact um, the factories in the future, you know, outside the factory. At Jais, we are currently seeing two trends in this market. On the one hand side, we have a volume uh, business where, which is very much driven by the permutations you can get of the ever-growing numbers of sensors and interfaces packaged in a very price-performing small camera. On the other hand side, we see a continuous flow of innovation and developments. Uh, which enables our customers to do more for their applications, like we have yesterday seen here on motion detection, or as we see uh, coming with the detection of polarization light, 
or also in the domain of hyperspectral imaging or multispectral imaging or high color, high quality color imaging like we are doing at GI with our PRISM technology. So we are very optimistic that this market will continue to grow um, not only in value but also in the ability to help and support our customers in solving their problems and needs. So uh, I think Illumination is the most important uh, development of uh, machine vision um, because uh, if you have a right illumination system you can decrease your cost and increase the efficiency. Um, most of the engineers start with the, uh, uh, cameras and PCs, but I think if they have uh, the right illumination, the things will totally change. It's not what I see, it's God say that let there be light.